This screencast represents a sample design analysis homework problem on the calculation of the bare module cost for several major unit operations in a chemical plant. The equations shown and used in this screencast are from Product and Process Design Principles, Synthesis, Analysis, and Evaluation by Cedar, Cedar, Lewin, and Wadadko. The first unit operation that will be examined are two cast steel centrifugal pumps with the following process parameters shown here. The pump head must be converted to feet of water by multiplying the head by 2.3. Use the following equation to calculate the value of S, the size factor of the pump. From the size factor, the base cost, CB, can be calculated via the equation shown. In order to calculate the purchase cost of the pump, the values for the pump type factor and the materials of construction factors must be taken into account. Using these two values, a purchase cost can be calculated from the equation shown, and it should, in turn, be double based upon the problem statement. Finally, to calculate the bare module cost for the pump, this value must be multiplied by the bare module cost factors of Guthrie from the table shown. This represents the bare module cost for both pumps. The next unit operation that will be examined is a tray distillation column. The specifications are shown on the screen. The wall thickness was based upon the material of construction and found in literature. The density was also obtained in literature. Finally, the length was calculated by multiplying the number of plates by the tray spacing. First, the weight of the column is calculated via the equation shown. Using the diameter and length, the added cost for platforms and ladders for the column is calculated with the following equation. The materials of construction factor, FM, was taken from the appropriate literature. The weight was then used to calculate the FOB purchase cost of the empty vessel, CV. The purchase cost of construction of the infrastructure of the column is given by CP. As there are 25 trays in the column, FNT can be assumed to be 1. FTT also has a value of 1 as sieve plates are being used. However, FTM must be calculated via the following equation. The base cost, CBT, is only a function of the diameter of the column and be can be calculated with the equation shown. The cost of installed trays with downcombers, CT, is then tabulated as a function of the following five variables. CP total represents the cost of both the installation of the trays and the shell, or CT plus CP. Finally, the total cost is multiplied by the bare module factor, FBM, which is shown in the following table. The resulting value is the total bare module cost for the distillation column. The next unit operation that will be examined is a shell and tube heat exchanger. The specifications are shown on the screen. The base cost, CB, is calculated via the equation shown for a floating head. This equation is only a function of the area of the heat exchanger. The value for the tube length correction factor, FL, was found in literature. Consulting the following table will yield values for two variables, A and B, which will be used in subsequent equations, making sure to choose the appropriate material of construction. In this case, the shell is carbon steel and tubes are stainless steel. Then, via the following equation, the material factor, Fm, can be calculated. According to the pressure given in the problem statement, use this relationship to calculate the pressure factor. Using the factors that were just determined, calculate the FOB purchase cost, which is also known as CP. As with the two previous unit operations, use the following table to determine the bare module factor and multiply it by the FOB purchase cost, which will result in the bare module cost of the heat exchanger. Watch the following YouTube video in the playlist to calculate the total capital investment for this chemical plant. For more sample design analysis problems, visit the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.